Israel's President Benjamin Netanyahu has convened five meetings of his war cabinet to weigh up how his forces will respond to Iran's attack. UK Foreign Minister David Cameron arrived in Tel Aviv calling for Israel to show restraint in its response. Today, in the sort of military parade that regimes love, Iran put on a display of some of the drones and long-range missiles fired at Israel on Saturday night. Iran is on high alert, expecting Israel to strike any day now. The country's leader warned that that would be a mistake. If the tiniest invasion is made by the Zionist regime against our homeland or our interests, the Israelis must be certain that they will face a very harsh response. In Jerusalem, the British Foreign Secretary met with the Israeli Prime Minister. The assumption amongst Western governments now is that Israel will strike back. And so the diplomacy is aimed at limiting the potential consequences of that. Are you any clearer about what Israel plans by way of response? Well, we wanted to demonstrate our solidarity with Israel because it was an appalling attack by Iran. But to be clear, we have repeated our view that any response should be smart uh, and that should be designed in a way that is going to limit and try to de-escalate this conflict. Nobody wants to see this uh, conflict grow and spread. Netanyahu, who has barely been heard of since the weekend attacks on his country, chaired a meeting of the cabinet today. World leaders have also all types of suggestions and advice. I appreciate it, but I want to make clear that we will make our own decisions and the state of Israel will do all that is needed to defend itself. The crisis with Iran might have briefly distracted from the ongoing war in Gaza, but the hostage crisis remains unresolved and many people are losing patience with a leader they don't trust. Although many Israelis would support a retaliation against Iran, a significant number here are still opposed to the Netanyahu government and blame them for not getting the hostages in Gaza home yet. In Gaza, more humanitarian aid is finally getting in, but there is still a problem with distributing it, especially to the north. The fighting also continues, and fears of an invasion of Rafah remain. Israel is still unable to win and extricate itself from one war, but might be on the brink of starting another. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News in Jerusalem.